action. Hi guys, Mark here from Foam Central. I'm going to talk to you today about the latest uh, upgrade on the iPhone 3G, uh, which is 2.2.1. Uh, and uh, a lot of forums at the moment saying that uh, it can't actually be jailbroken um, which is not true uh, we did it last night and it worked perfectly it can't be unlocked I think that is actually true because um, of the software they're using at the moment so uh, whether that's a future thing not sure any questions uh, or you'd like any uh, to pass on any comments you can uh, do so on uh, www.phonecentral at ymail Dot com. Right, here's the iPhone 3G <coughs> and uh, what I'm going to show you now is if we just go on to the settings and we go into the general and we go into about we'll see on there that the software version is 2.2.1 back onto the springboard and we'll see their installer application and also Cydia so the gel breakthrough went through fine right to get you started first thing you're going to need obviously is your computer or your Mac whichever you're working on and the standard data cable that came with the iPhone if you navigate to www.quickporn.com which is Q U I C K pwn.com download their latest version software which is funnily enough 2.2.1 once that's been in, uh, downloaded it will be in a zip file so just uninstall it choose where you want to place it on your computer then into the file load up the pineapple and this will bring up the device detection page now before you run this you must have um, iTunes installed on your system because obviously it won't work too well without it so what I'm going to do now is basically just put the standard data cable into your device ignore that that's just asking uh, if I want to upload any new photos have been taken click on the blue arrow it's going to bring up your screen with your iPhone 3G and also very important that it has this in it 2.2.1 5H11 restore file that should automatically be in there we've done nothing special with that it should just automatically come down with the program uh, you'll notice the green tick that means that the phone's connected ok then what the next stage is, is basically just click the arrow again, very very nice simple program to use this. Uh, you've got three boxes, the pineapple will uh, replace your boot up logo, uh, instead of the apple logo it will have the pineapple. You don't need to do that, you can do if you want. Uh, Cydia and installer, they two files, uh, sorry applications to allow you to download uh, third party applications. And then what you do is, basically you click on your next one, I'm not going to do this because um, I've already got it installed uh, and what it will do, it will basically run through a se sequence of steps that you must complete um, which is things like hold your home screen button for 5 seconds um, and then hold um, your power and home screen button for something like 15, 30 seconds, something like that once that's completed um, you will see on the um, iPhone a logo appear um, which is the quick porn logo which is basically just saying that um, it's going through okay once it's done it takes about five ten minutes um, it will come up on onto the uh, computer that it's been successful then after that about five minutes later you'll notice that uh, your iPhone starts downloading various files uh, kernel files and etc etc once that's done basically you will have a jailbroken iPhone on 2.2.1 so don't worry if you've accidentally upgraded from 2.2 to 2.2 uh, to 2.2.1 like a lot of people have uh, because it can be jailbroken obviously like I say you won't be able to unlock it um, but that basically is it guys so like I say if you've got any questions or comments uh, email me on uh, phonecentral at ymail.com I look forward to our next instalment thank you